It has been quite a roller coaster journey for Dramacan in staging director Daniel Dubois' first original full length play. Now join us for the premiere of Daniel Dubois and Dramacan's theatrical production, The Gopwell Rehabilitation Center. Amma, every time I risk everything to come and see you. Now, Catholic, sign yourself. If you are not Catholic, sign yourself regardless. <laughs> and I know when my father died, I get enough peace or money. Women know what they want and they act accordingly. Exchange I will save her from him. I'm in love with a married man. I bought him. No, you don't have to. Ay, 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 Jack! 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 I'm so happy you came. You know I would always come if I said I would, mm -hmm. all right? I found a different path through the bushes so I don't have to mm -hmm. wake up the dogs. But okay. how are you? You good? You eating? You got the money I sent for you? Yes, I did. Thank you. Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh. Jack. Oh. I don't know why they have me here. Huh? But you know you could save me. God, Dama. What? Every time we talk about this, we come to the same place. Okay, I cannot leave my wife. Not right now. How long again, Jack? No, seriously. You coming here to see me. I'm in this mad house. Right? And you're still going to choose her? It's not about choosing, Dama. A divorce? I cannot afford a divorce right now. I just closed the deal on a new property. Yeah. I'm on the cusp of launching it's a new property you. management company. You know that. Plus, it's like you, you're not thinking about my girls, man. They're so young. They're only five. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here. No, stop. Drop me. And all of that, Jack, you know you're not leaving the woman for me, but you'll never tell me to stop loving you. You'll never tell me to turn my back against you and move on with my life. Do you think that that's fair? No, 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 don't, don't. No, stop. Dama. Don't touch me. I don't want to lose you. You don't want to lose me, but you don't want to choose me. How long again? As she found out, now is the time. You guys can agree to be estranged, separated, divorced, something. But Jack, for once, I need you to choose me. Dama, every time I risk everything to come and see you i choose you okay me not giving up on us mm -hmm. be that's me choosing you yeah but you had no problem throwing me under the bus to your wife let's not even go there okay she she took the phone she took the phone she, she knew everything she knew everything you think i would tell dana i would do anything to protect you you're a liar i was afraid man i i, I didn't want to deny anything afraid afraid of what jack You know what? It's okay. I guess I chose my place in your life when I decided to love a married man. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yes, don't say that. What the hell are you afraid of then? No, seriously. Not once did you get concerned. Did you sit back and say to yourself, wow, Dharma is in close to a mental institution because the man that she loves refuses to love her back and choose her. Dharma, you know that that is not the okay, truth. Okay, so then tell me the truth. 
The truth is that we are in love. No, but I, I am in love, Jack. You don't see it. Mama, I'm in a situation that I cannot do much about. Come on, it's almost seven years we've been together, G. I'm glad you, know you noticed. I love you, baby. You complete me. You know it's only you that can light that fire. Okay. Dama, the truth is, and the major problem is, I have very small children. I don't want them growing up in a dysfunctional family. Okay. I mean, do you remember when I told you how hard it was for me yeah. to grow up without my father it's around? It's always you about you. You think that I would want that for my kids? Yeah, it's always about you. Oh yeah. And this whole marriage thing is a financial arrangement at this point. Everything is joint, the, the cars, the accounts, the mortgage. You know what it means to go through all of that? It could take years. So let me ask you then, what happens to me in the meantime? What do you mean what happens? What to happens me? to me? Do I wither like an old shoe underneath your bed? God, you're so dramatic. I'm dramatic? <laughs> I mean, come on. I've been loving half a man, someone I gave all my time, all my energy. I never made room in my heart, in my house, in my mind for any other man, you know. And the one thing I want from you, you cannot give it to me. Not right now, Oh Dama. my God. But you have everything that you need. So what? I will always take care of you. I pay for your bills. I help you get started with your clothing and shoe business. I mean, not having me 100% of the time, that's just a part of it. I feel like sometimes you forget what we were getting ourselves into when we started this a long time okay, ago. Okay, so tell me, what were we getting ourselves into? There you go again. Well, if it isn't the last bitch standing, eh? Eating the cheese alone. Hi, I'm Dama. Don't be dumb and love a man. That's not yours in the first place. <laughs> Is that what we were getting ourselves into? But Dama, I love you. You love me? Do you love me enough to take me out of this f***ing place? Huh? Always creeping through the bushes to talk to me. Always last on the list and getting the crumbs. <sighs> Jack. You know, you could just come in one day and make a case for me. All you have to tell them is that I'm fine. Dama, you know that I cannot do that. Jack, no one will know that you stood for me, babe. Nobody. You forget my wife knows that you're here already? You have any idea what will happen if she gets word that I came to the center to try to get you out? Jack, I'm in the f center, so what the f are you telling me about if she gets word? You see, you wake up the dogs, man, now I have to go. Jack, Jack, that's a minor issue. They're going to go back to sleep anyways. Just stay. Listen to me. Wait for me, okay? I'll I want you to you. wait for me. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. I want you to meet me here in two days' time. Okay. I will tell you what I can do to help you then, but I cannot make any promises. Okay, yes, okay? yes, but yes. Right now, I have to go. No, you don't have to. I have to Jack. go, Tama. Jack! Jack! Jackson Oliver, I said, get back here! <laughs> It's over and done, but the heartache lives on inside. And who is the one you're clinging to instead of me tonight? And where are you now? Now that I need you, tears on my pillow. Wherever you go, cry me a river that leads to your ocean. You'll never see me fall apart. In the words of a broken heart, it's just emotion taking me over. Caught up in sorrow, lost in the sun. But if you don't come back, come home to me, darling. Don't you know there's nobody left in this world to hold me tight? Nobody left in this world to kiss goodnight. 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 You are making too much noise there. Any time, Dr. Pat, let's you are making nice. 
I will report you all to the administration. We will make you all stand up in the sun again. We'll make you all stand up in the sun again. Well, well. When you going to stop letting women use you and take all your money? Hey. Okay. Was that necessary? Oh, you all quiet now? Don't forget where you all are. Acting like little children. That's a last. Hello, what's happening here? Sessions due to start in a couple minutes. Is everyone uh -huh. all right? Yeah, man, Dr. Pat, yeah, man. This is Dr. Pat. Mm. Mm. They always doing that to me. Mm. Acting unruly, being rude, and ridiculously making noise. And Dr. Pat, you know, we have our intensive care patients up who are triggered Trigger. by the noise. I think we should put them in solitary for the rest of the week. What's your last word? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 They forget where they are. It's oh. not about where we are, you dick dick. CDF is both a champion for cultural preservation and development change agent. Established in April 2002 by the CDF Act of 2000 as the agency responsible to align the aspirations of cultural and creative individuals, groups, communities, policy makers and civil society through the implementation of the National Cultural Policy of St. Lucia, we envision a strong, united and proud St. Lucian community empowered by culture and creativity. For more information on how you can partner with CDF on some of our projects and efforts, go to cdfstlucia.org or contact Cultural Development Foundation Barnard Hill Castries, PO Box CP5405, Call us at 457-9021 or send us a fax at 459-0615. Email us at info at cdfstlucia.org. It's my life and I want more. More time, more power. Pay my Lucy Leck bill is not. I pay with credit or debit card. Pay direct to Lucy Leck my account. I have the power, yeah. Pay online to Lucy like my account anywhere, any day, any hour. Lights are on at home, no more standing in line, no more worrying about my bill. Now I'm all paid up, got more time to chill. Yeah, yeah. Pay my Lucy like bill is not I pay with credit or debit card. institution that is supposed to be helping us mm -hmm. supporting us to get better dr fat i have it there for you dr fat that woman always throwing our business in our face just when I thought it was supposed to be confidential, it's true. Dr. Pat, it's true. that don't make no sense. It's true, Dr. That don't make you feel happy, guys. Unhappy. All right. <laughs> Look, I know. Hey, hey, that's why I like that girl. You know. <laughs> Miss could stand up all right. <laughs> all right, all right so everyone, calm down. Nurse, yes, and new sir. patients. We have this is Dama and this is Andela, right? Yes, Dr. Pat. She came in yesterday and she was diagnosed with Gopal type 3 and Andela here is a unique transfer case. Okay, perfect. Thank you, nurse. And uh, thank you for settling them in for me today. I'll take it from here. But wait, mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it should be noted that I will be making a formal complaint to the administration. Okay. Well, I'm not sure you need to do that, but I wasn't there. So you do what you feel is right, okay, nurse? But generally, guys, this is a safe space. 
We respect everybody here, don't we? Yes, yes Dr. Pat. Yes, Dr. Pat. Okay, Pat. thank you, Nurse. All right, so if we're all finally settled, settled, shall we make a start? Before we start, mm, mm, mm. I think it is necessary that we cleanse the space with a word for the Lord. Okay, sure. So please rise. Rise, Michelle. Cashpan, rise. Cashpan, that's disrespectful to the Lord. Rise. Bo. Now, Catholic, sign yourself. If you are not Catholic, sign yourself regardless. Gracious and most heavenly Father, we thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. We come to you here today to cleanse this session, Lord Jesus. I ask that you bless Cashman, bless Michelle, bless Zama and Angela, Lord Jesus. And most importantly, Lord Jesus, bless Dr. Pat. And I've been given a warning to give my prayer short, Father, but you know that it is all for your glory, Father. Yes. I pray that you let the administration see that I'm ready to go home, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. We pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Sister Fletcher. Uh, just before we start, Cashpan, I overheard a little comment of yours back there. Why did you say that women only have tricks? Once you see the problem with women is that they always pretend. Mm -hmm. Always acting to get what they want from men, you know. They know what to tell you to make you do anything for them. I say, I know I always fall for it. What is women not in charge, man? Women like Sister Sledge, is them not in charge? The Lord in charge, sweetie. So what you're saying, women know what they want and they act accordingly. Right. How does that make them tricksters? <laughs> Boss, don't mean to tell me, eh? How come I've been more than my pool and my a doctor? When you check it, it's for tickets to go to fair. Like, just tell me it's for fair. No need to lie, no need to lie. Eh? Then can she get concerned because he wants to know if you're sick or whatever? Then you're telling me I only concern because I give you money. But yes, I concern because I give you money, Dr. Pat. And you know, I also care about her, you know. But Doc, my last palace here, but for it is time when she has to play, to play, to play. Thank, Thank you, you Cashpan. I really appreciate you sharing that with us. It's so important for us to be able to identify our triggers. You were able to put a label on an emotion and open up about it. And that is progress. Well done, Cashman. <laughs> Guys, let's, let's, let's clap for Cashman. Well done. <laughs> All right. So we have two newcomers to our group this evening. Why don't we start over here? Would you introduce yourself, my dear? <laughs> but a cup. But a cup. And stand up. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. My name is Dama, and they say to say that when I say my name, that I have a gop well. Hi, Hi Dama. Dama. Hi, Dama. Hi, Thank Dama. you. Dama, I'm not sure everyone quite heard you. Could you stand and say that a little louder, please? Okay, so before I start, it's important to note that I don't believe that I have a gop well. It's actually my mom who sent me here, and I'm just doing it to please her. My name is Dama, and I have a gopwell. It's okay, baby girl. You'll get there. Mm -hmm. You'll get there. Thank you, Dama. It's very brave of you to join our group. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to share at this point? This is a safe space. We're here to listen. But hurry up, huh? Stand up. Time is of the essence, child. Well, I'm in love with a married man. My boy, young girl like you. But I'm just waiting for him to leave his wife. Uh -uh. Okay, and, and what was the defining moment that led you to this place of well-being? Well, as I said, my mother sent me to this place of well-being, so it's not like I want to be here. Dama, I didn't ask you your parents' opinion. I want to know what you think. Well, my boyfriend... Uh-uh. The guy. 
I mean, you know how he was protecting himself because he has a wife and children and all of that. And um, basically, she found out about everything. He denied everything. And the next thing I know is that she approached me and I had a little breakdown. Uh-uh, uh -uh. break down on your knees for the Lord, eh, because that did not right. But Sledge, the girl had a break down for the people, man. <laughs> Shush, you lot! Care yeah, to share anything more, Dama? I think I've said enough already, thank you. Okay, thank you, Dama. I know you might not be ready to share everything right now. Be gentle with yourself, take it at your own pace, and when you're ready, we'll be there to support you. Cash fan? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, my God. So, anytime anybody share a life story and thing, we will have to say, This too shall pass. This, this too shall pass. pass. Amen. All right. And we have another newcomer tonight. Would you please introduce yourself, my dear? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Andela Martin, and I have a GoPro. Another one. Hi, Andela. Hi. Hi. So, feel free to share what brings you here. Okay. Let me start at the beginning. My father was a pastor. My mother was in charge of women's ministry at the church. You know, big time believers, hey. church seven days a week. Hey, hey. But that's the way to go. And you know, at my house, what we do? We serve the Lord. Amen. Yes, that's right. Sure. So anyway, I try to be a good little girl, going to church, going to Sunday school, reading my Bible, and listening to them when they tell me about, you know, serve your future husband. That's right, submit to your husband in all things. And um, it is no secret that um, my husband is in a spiritual warfare with some unnatural desires. But you know what I am? I am his rib. Yes, amen. That <laughs> is the Lord's Sister way. Sledge, we're all very happy that you've reached this far in your path to recovery. Okay. But please let Andela tell her story. <laughs> Just the same no mukabula. Andela, sorry, would you continue? Okay, oh. so I didn't understand that whole husband and wife and submission talk business. Like, it didn't, it didn't make sense to me. It didn't sit well with my spirit. But I couldn't tell anybody that way. My parents, my mother, where they would have never understand. There was only one person that understood me. Her name was Martha. Martha? <laughs> like... She understood me on another level. We got closer and closer until, well, I asked her to be my girlfriend. <gasps> and she said yes. I tell I'm you all the goodies are some yes. So what she be saying? Just now. Uh, Martha, Martha, Martha. Just like my, my husband that? and his friend. I rebuke that thing. Hey, 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 sit hey, down. Hey, hey, hey. I just want to pray for her. That's that is uncalled for. Is that how we respect one another in this space? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Andela. Please continue. <clears throat> it's okay. I forgive you. So we dip deep in it. We live in together. We have two dogs together. We saying we're going to elope to the states and get married. We were in love. We were so much in love. I was hers, and she was mine. <sighs> I agree, and I tell her I will stay with her, even though she stay in the closet, because she was so afraid of what people are going to say, what people are going to think. But we were in love, so, so we made the decision to stay together. We never fight. We never quarrel. Nothing like that. Until one day, she come in and tell me she cannot live like that again. She's checking a man Amen. behind my back. <laughs> Like, I didn't understand what was going on. Like, how she can just come and tell me that just like that? We, we were together, we were in love. The, the marriage thing, it was just a piece of paper. And so is a restraining order. That man of hers, I will save her from him. I will save her. When, when I use my fake, my, my fake account on Instagram to, to stalk her pictures, I can see she's not happy. She's not, she not glowing like she used to. I can see the sadness in, in her eyes. Like, not, she's not putting no makeup. Um, not, not even 
put a little lipstick, she put it. I can see we have a lot of work to do here, but I want to thank you for sharing your story. I hope it was liberating for you, and I hope you get better here. As for you, Sister Sledge, I understand that Andela's story hits a bit close to home for you in your own relationship. But this is a judgment-free space. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yes, Dr. Pat. Very well. Here are ways to reduce your plastic bag use. 1. Refuse plastic and take your own reusable bags when you shop. 2. Reuse your single-use plastic bags when you shop until they are no longer fit for the job. 3. Repurpose your plastic bags and use them to line your trash can, paint trays and more. 4. Dispose of your plastic bags by recycling. Shop wisely and reduce, reuse, repurpose and recycle. Hi. My name is Sidil, and you may know some of my hits like this one. Don't play with man. Man pull up like ten bad man. Anyone. Our music inspires and entertains. It powers festivals and is an integral part of our history and culture. Creating good music takes hours of thought, writing, arranging, recording, and production. When people or businesses who use our music publicly or for commercial gain get a music license, they're not just keeping the law. They're also supporting music creators, producers, musicians, singers, sound engineers, and many others in the music industry. Keep the great music coming. Get a music license for your business place or event. Support music rights. For more information, visit echorights.com. This message is brought to you by Echo and this Echo license station. Echo, Echo, Echo. protecting music rights. you sister sledge i understand that andela's story hits a bit close to home for you in your own relationship but this is a judgment-free space is that understood is that understood yes Dr. Pat. very well well now that we all know one another uh michelle i believe we stopped on you yesterday you had to tell us about the moment when you felt your relationship took a turn for the worse. Well, I was in love with a Vienegg for a long time. Hey, 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 hey. But Tali, 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 Tali. You all don't curse? No. All right, just now. I was in love with a Vienegg. For a long effing time. That's better. No, You're no, happy no. now? Right. It was that day. He took my car, went and buy the bread, and never come back. <laughs> it took everything in me not to call him and be like, but, baby, like, where are you? Like, you go and buy the flower in China or something? Like, what the f Hey. Michelle Gasson. Okay, what a flying fish. <laughs> so, I like my little joint. I play my slow tune. And I went to bed. The next morning, he come back with the birdie. Mm -hmm. He wasn't sorry. Not one inch of remorse. He was like, Morning. Me that Papa Salam talking to? Me. I said good morning. And I tried my best to ignore it. I wanted to see how low this man could go. <laughs> and Dr. Pat, he went f low. All right, Michelle. So you weren't offered an apology nope. or an explanation? No, not at all. How Dr. did that Pat. make you feel? You sure want to know how that made me feel? <laughs> Dr. Pat, I was mad. I was angry. 
I was hurt, but most importantly, I was sad. I gave this man everything. I was good to him. I didn't deserve to be treated like that. And even when I brought it up to him before, he didn't want to hear it. He completely ignored me. Like, Dr. Pat, you know how it feels to be like invisible in a relationship? The way I work hard to take care of us, to support us, make something of myself, you know? You mean to tell me no man can love me the way I deserve to be loved? No man, Dr. Pat? Thank you, Michelle. I must say, the way you continue to express your emotions is really impressive. It shows a level of acceptance of what you're experiencing. We will continue to examine these emotions to help you move forward. Forgiveness is a progressive work. I think we need to give Michelle a round of applause. Well done, Michelle. Michelle, we have Bible study tonight, eh? 7 o'clock, bring your Bible 12, my room. But, but, sister, she ain't know I go do all that. Michelle, never, baby. Cash pan! What did we say about side conversations and group discussion? This is not the time to jump into a new fling. Where's your homework from last week? My homework? Mm. You even have done. I have it, eh? You it in your pocket there. Take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Dropping food anywhere. <laughs> Get it, boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boss, I'd write it down. <laughs> so, I had a good well. Oh, um. Well, at first, I didn't really understand the question, but I started to ask myself, what really is a good well? And besides, I don't do nothing, boss. Not willing to do nothing, no, no good, no motivation, no zeal, Gassa. I feel the best way is sad. So, boss, why is sad? You could tell me. I mean, I'm still feeling sad. He's still feeling it. You haven't <laughs> answered the question, love. <laughs> boss, after all that English? <laughs> boss, when you know the English between me, it's more the Creole. What's a map in Lake and plus? <laughs> I know these hands are mine, eh? Me say I'm well blessed. Golden hands, yeah, man. I could plan anything, you know. Because I imagine, eh? Man send money for me to come to Canada and plant. And what I planting, boss? Boy! I pick it the apple same speed. <laughs> boss, you know, that's when me and that girl get close, Gasser. Huh? Yes, we're starting to get an answer. But I'm telling you, boss, oh. it's funny to them girls, Gasser. It's, it's money they like, boss, man. Money. Hold on, Cash Pan. Let's take it back a bit. You were saying that you and your partner were just starting to get close right around the time when you were getting ready to leave to work overseas. Can you take it from there? Yeah, so... Just before I head up to Canada, you know it was cool, we were chilling. Boy, <laughs> them time they was... Because <laughs> he have his bike. <laughs> Boss, so she had like the enjoyment that thing, yeah, man. Jump out to work in the morning. Them time that she working in Union, opposite the call center. Yeah, I think it's came to opposite the. Yeah, the school, the school in Union. Right, yeah, man. Boss, by telling you, I'm making a lot of money, boss man, but that girl could never stop. One pot. Back with some lettuce and kill that cashy girl, you know. In the ground, you know. That I said, man, she make a mawe, boss man. You know, sometimes it's a little pumpkin soup. At me, I saw the thing where Kimo Nyoka Kwe is a jol kosho. Drop a little jol kosho in that boss. Ah, is that mean they had like? Yeah, man. Boss, I tell you, the breakfast I'm making for that girl, that meeting the lunch, me see. Things so nice, eh? <laughs> boss, you put a little size. <laughs> she has a little quarter to you. Okay. Yeah, man, but she put on size, boss. I see you really enjoy talking about this woman. So where do you think the sadness came from? <laughs> sad, but I sad. Huh? <laughs> I happy. I went over, boss. You know, 
making this new foreign currency and thing. But I know if it was the distance of boss man, but that girl didn't want me to go was. So when I reach overs now, that girl was always calling me. Never missed to call me. Hello, Kashi, I love you. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day like that, was she calling me. But you know, as we started getting close, that's when that girl started to tax me. I said, Kashi, that ain't thing. You want to give your girl suit bag, I was, and I know when my father died, I get in a piece of money. That is why they call me cash fat. Because <laughs> I said, no, no. Pile of cash. Yeah, man. <laughs> I diverted from the conversation. So, sorry. Sorry, boss. Yeah, man, by telling you, boss, that girl tell me she see a little course or a little training at NSDC she want to do. I say, yeah, baby, I go pay it. I tell her how much it costs. She say, cash, it, it costs 2000 I send that. Yeah. Michelle, you know the girl mother needed groceries at the supermarket. I send the money. She say, she have to go to the doctor. Test costing a thousand, boss. In my US Canadian money, I send it. I say, boss, you know what? I go surprise that girl. But I tell her I come in, I was, so I, I go for six months, a whole six months. Half of a year, boss, half. I say I go surprise the girl, boss man, but it's myself I surprise more than anything. <laughs> boss, I don't know if my mother was this possesses or something. I know what that girl tell my mother. I don't know if my mother tell me the girl move out. Huh? Boss, all the time. You know that girl pregnant. <laughs> Leaving it for next man, <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. On top of that is my little money she take, you know. The Canadian US. <laughs> and the thing is, boss, I tell everybody pops good I just now I know when he's dying. <laughs> No, 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 no. But nothing was. This too shall pass. This, this too, too shall, shall pass. pass. Thank you, Kashpan, as usual, for your colorful stories. What I'm hearing you say is that in exploring where this relationship went wrong, perhaps the long distance did not help. You felt betrayed. Somebody else reaped the benefits of your efforts, both financial and emotional. But it will be okay, Kashpan. You're in the right place and you're well on your way to recovery. I know that it was clap for me, I'm missing. <laughs> but the thing she don't know is the girl over there. She's my little love, you know, I've the love there for that one, the Michelle. <laughs> Kashpan! Boss, I tell you when we graduated. But I don't want you. Get it free. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, hey, good afternoon. Hey, hi! <laughs> I don't miss here at all! <laughs> Bambino, you got my friend girl! I saw a, a belt! Look at you! Hey, look like Hillary Clinton! Look at that! Girl looking well! How Where have you? you been, base? I dare, I dare, but you know already. Miss, you know when your time comes, it's out here. True. And, True. Um, but I'm doing good. I got a job as head of security for all the wellness centers oh, island wide. Bambi! All right, guys. All right. This is Bambina. Yeah, boss. I know her. She's my friend. Yeah, she's a sit-on day. That's true. Right there. That's true, Cash. Yeah, man. Okay. This is Bambina. She used to be in our center, mm-hmm. but she's all better now. She brings us the mail sometimes. <laughs> Bambi. Hi, Bambi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Buttercup and pokey. <laughs> oh, kiddos. Okay. So what do you have for us today? Well, I just want to say to them, make sure you use your time in here wisely. Amen. Amen. Exchange it. Amen. Okay. okay. It's a very important. Yes. What do you have? I have two letters here. <laughs> One for Miss Andela Martin. This is Andela here. Andela. Oh, it's a letter from the post office telling you to stop sending letters to me. <laughs> <laughs> and if you insist, we'll get your parole officer. <laughs> my friend, that is my top G, my partner. You, that girl, man. Oh, oh, right. And what's the other one? 
And there's a second letter here for Miss Dama Charles. But Bambi, no, no flowers? Why is that your place to ask? Mm -hmm. Did but he send any flowers? No, that's all. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. She's driving traffic ticket. She's driving traffic ticket. Nurse Joseph, one moment to talk. What happened? What are you calling? <laughs> what are you calling Nurse Joseph hi, 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 for? What no, let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me. Dr. Pat, I gave this man seven years of my life, Dr. Pat. Seven years. Yes, Joseph. Are we ready, mother? No. 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 I cannot take it. I cannot take it. Watch out. Watch out. Yes, Joseph. I cannot take it. I cannot take it. Go. Go. I cannot take it. No, that is this Dama Charles, take control of yourself. Sit down. Joseph, you want to talk to me? Come and talk to me. Come. Come and talk to me. Come and talk to me. Really? Come and talk to me. Really? Come and talk to me. Come and talk to me. Really? 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 Come and talk Let me tell you, let me tell you. 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 Let me